To honor the naming of Robert W. Plaster School of Business here at Lindenwood, we welcome George Will, an American newspaper columnist, journalist, and author, to come and talk about the political argument today. George Will is highly recognized for his political articles and view on government. Howard Wall, associate professor here at Lindenwood, was able to sit down with George at the president's house before his speech and discuss problems with freedom of speech on America's campuses today. Today's students are so fragile and so easily frightened and disturbed, dismayed, and distressed by encountering ideas that they might not have heard before and might not find congenial, that they must be protected from speech. It's not freedom of speech anymore, it's freedom from speech. George Will goes on to discuss how amendments to the Constitution have been proposed by the Democrats to amend the First Amendment and how government would like to have more regulation on citizen sovereignty. Never before has anyone run for president, as Hillary Clinton is now doing, promising to make the Bill of Rights less protective of our individual zone of sovereignty. No one's ever done that before, and there's almost no comment on it. After George's interview and meet and greet at the president's house, many people headed over here to the Scheidegger Center to listen to his address, The Political Argument Today. George Will, being a Pulitzer Prize winner best known for his conservative commentary on politics, attracted many people to come out here to Linwood and hear what his thoughts were on today's government. Paul Huffman, Linwood University archivist, attended the event and discusses the main message he got from George's address. I think the overall theme of his uh, talk was that government's too big and because it's so big it does a lot of things inefficiently and um, things could be um, done a lot better in this country if people have more control over their lives. For LUTV News, I'm Erin Smith.